Kaya 9, not news, with Neil and Jonas. Papaya. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Papaya 9. Welcome to Papaya House, <laughs> oh, man, the welcome. Papaya Island. I'm Neil. I'm Jonas. And I'm Alan. There we go. Alan. We're coming in on a chapstick break. Here with the we started early with the chapstick break. Yeah, we started a little early with the chapstick oh break. Oh my Up gosh. Top. Well, if you if you're if you're new to this show, to this podcast, welcome. Welcome. This is a show where we we kind of take the news and uh we, we try to find the ones that fall by the wayside. Right, right. Give you some perspective. We need a, a, a ab, abstract perspective. It's an abstract, very abstract takes. Yes. Um, yes. And take it very seriously. This That's is right. all literal. It is all um, <laughs> investigative journalism. Absolutely. We must uh, say that we are taking it <laughs> with the utmost seriousness Yeah. to be integral. integral. We will be word? submitting this to the New York Times. That's right. <laughs> Watch uh, out, Michael Barbero. <laughs> <laughs> Some new kids on the block. How you, you been you, feeling, man? You could feel, you? You feel good? I feel good, yeah. yeah. Do you think you could do like a NPR voice like uh like do you think do you think yeah like do you think this podcast is suitable for npr absolutely you think so absolutely would we have to go to school though and like train our voices i think yeah we would have have to to, i think if we really wanted to we could right you would have to wear glasses oh yeah that that would be Mm -hmm. a a big part of it you have to wear glasses oh man and you are wearing glasses i'm ready so you're already there um yeah i'm ready man dude i i saw um a meditation app Mm mm-hmm and like LeBron is doing the app, you know, he was like narrating this, yeah. this calm app mm-hmm. and he's like describing the playoff situation he went through, like in Boston. And, and it was like, it's not, I mean, it was, it was kind of soothing cause I like basketball, Yeah, but it was also like, this is like a really anxious moment. He's like, there I was in the locker room. You know what I mean? Wow. Like, so, so wait, so he, I mean, he's big into it. Like the meditation stuff is, he? he is, he's, he's like very really into mind. Big. LeBron loves mindfulness. Right. He's super about it, man. I also he, love that he 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 doesn't look like he would be into that. In what way? Just at face value. Yeah. yeah. As a as a basketball player. As just a, a six foot ninety black guy. <laughs> <laughs> just, you you just you won't you just don't expect him to be crossing his legs and yeah. on a yoga yeah. mat. Just, <laughs> yeah, his hips got to be tight. There's right. no doubt. Right, right, right. Yeah, man, <laughs> that's for real. So it's kind of like you know it's kind of dope. He's like, yeah, you see, you, you know, you see someone has a center. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of sad. Yeah, he is. He's an interesting figure for for that. Yeah, uh, and like democracy and <laughs> for sure, for this sure. kind of this idea of hope, right? You know, and he's and he is still dominating the game, man. Yeah, oh. but we have to keep in mind, you know, this is LeBron. He's not. He's not getting regular poor people yoga treatment. You know, this is some. That's true. He's getting the premium stuff. That's true. He probably has an actual Indian teaching him yoga. Absolutely. Damn. He, prob- he probably he yeah. probably flies to India every morning for sure, yo. You understand? And, <laughs> and if he doesn't, LeBron, I got you, man. <laughs> I got you, man. We I will get on the horn every morning. <laughs> you go, probably have to wake me up, you know, five <laughs> o'clock in the morning. Right. We'll go through the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. It is coming from a integral <laughs> <laughs> meditation source. Oh yeah. You know, that's it. I mean. He'll put you in there. He'll do it, man. He'll he'll put you in there. If he, if he's if he is uh if he's wise, which I know he is. Yeah. He he's got an Indian teaching him though. Oh, for sure. You know, for sure. You know? and, but, good he, stuff. Yeah, Dude, but, this is the good stuff. But that, that's the thing though. You know, I, th- I think you'd be a good fit. You understand? Know you mm-hmm. chill, mm-hmm. lay back. Well. You're not threatening. Right. He's not gonna look at you and be like, "Yo, this guy's trying to take my spot." Yeah. You understand? Dude, that's crazy. So it's kind of like. It'd be a perfect scenario. Yeah. Oh, be would, great, you, would you shave? For LeBron? Yeah. I don't know if I could do that. <laughs> I don't know if I could do it. I don't uh, know if I could. You don't know. I'm sorry. If you, LeBron, you don't I'm sorry. Know. I, I don't, just don't know if I could. So you don't know. if you, Are you being serious for it? You, I love my know. beard. I love it. I, I love. You can't tell me what to do with my body. <laughs> <laughs> LeBron. <laughs> okay. No. I, I Man, no. I think, I think that would be a point of bondage between us now neil you know your beard will grow back <laughs> oh i just have to shave it the one time you know you would have to keep it shaved that's what i'm saying i, I don't want to do that that's the thing i don't just do. for the duration of the contract and then after that oh, you can no, go off this, on like a letterman no, thing this is gonna be lifetime <laughs> this contract is gonna be long wow you know <laughs> you remember when my beard was thicker than yours 
You remember you, you, t- <laughs> you told me. Jonas, the time. <laughs> I know t- I know pandemic's been hard. And, <laughs> you you know. told me. You were like Jonas, yo, that's crazy. Your beard is really bigger than mine. You were and one I'm, you were one week away <laughs> from it. I remember seeing it and being like, Wow, it's gonna it's gonna do it. And then you shaved it because you had you had to. No, 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 no. I got I got there and then you started <laughs> juicing. Remember? You started <laughs> juicing. You started juicing. I juiced my beard. You started juicing, yeah. You started putting those oils I did. in there. I, yeah, put the oils. You gotta, yeah, you gotta you, be healthy. You, you, man. Say, you, you didn't tell me about that. I didn't even know we can do that. So you you weren't doing that? I wasn't. That's disgusting. I, 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 was, I was I was just brushing it in the shower with, with like a really good soap. Oh, okay. Oh, but, so you were using soap? Yeah, yeah. You have to clean it. Okay, well, that's juicing. That's not juicing. <laughs> that's just cleaning. Soap. <laughs> I can still get a Major League Baseball contract. <laughs> so you're just taking a shower. You think I was Sammy Sosing my, my beard? Absolutely. Oh, my goodness, Getting that man. good stuff in there. I, you I put think oil in it? I was putting oil in it. Wow. I, I didn't put oil in you it. You didn't put oil in no. it? No. Wow. You mm. really could have had something, Jonas. <laughs> Listen, I mean, uh, you know. It's it's tough. It's tough to see it gone. Yeah. But no, it's 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 starting to get to you know, uh, there's just optics things. You know, when you have a beard, mm-hmm. there's certain things you can't do because of the optics. Yeah. You know. But I mean, would you um, if I started if I started growing it out now, mm. you think I could beat you in like a few? No, I just. I, th- I think I, I think, would love to see it. I would I, love to I see think, it. I think I could do it. I would love. I think everyone at home would love to see this. So <laughs> if you're watching this right now, please comment. Uh, you know what? If we get that you want to see Jonas's beard, going out. <laughs> I would love this. You know what? If we get fifty thousand likes, <laughs> <laughs> that's right. You you heard him, YouTube. <laughs> 50k Joe's <laughs> gonna grow a beard <laughs> 50 thousand likes guys <laughs> alright guys help blow this up <laughs> just posting this with the timeline guys <laughs> 50, <laughs> <laughs> we, oh yeah I'll do it <laughs> Man, I'll that's like people, people in relationships are yeah. getting are getting stuff from their partners because like TikTok videos. Like, oh, yeah. Yeah. You seen that? <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. like, yo, seven, how many, babe, how many likes until you let me like peg you or something? <laughs> like 7K and then they'll have like 309,000 <laughs> yeah. likes. Damn. <laughs> I see that all the time. Just blows it out the water. Yeah. Yeah. Every time it's something like that. Dude. So by the time you see it, it's like 300 something thousand. That means they must have surpassed 7,000 like the first. Maybe a day 40, ago. No, Two days. 45 seconds. Four, <laughs> 300 okay wait how long ago was the video from the time you saw it uh i don't know okay okay <laughs> i saw it on twitter today though okay okay that means it's pretty old okay <laughs> that means it's pretty old man that means it's pretty old what do you think news starts now online dude that's a great question i just thought of it like where do you think it starts like where does it start or does it is it all uh, interchanged? Are they exchanging all of them all at once, you know? It's like the different crime mobs, mm-hmm. you know? We'll take care of the milk. You <laughs> take care of the, the, the pasta. You take care of the stromboli. Right. You know, and it's everybody kind of exchanging? Or do you think it... I think... Man, dude, I think it has to... Uh, I don't know. It has to come from a reliable place first. Mm-hmm. It has to start there. Honestly, I think everything starts on Twitter. I think so. I, th- I think so. And then maybe that's just our... Yeah. Because we're like late 20s. Maybe that's like, just it's, our Honestly, it's like app. the first It's the first app I go to when I wake up in the morning. Really? Yeah. Twitter. Oh, that's a great... I- yeah. What's the first thing you... What's the first thing you go to, Alan? In the morning. Do you, do you even think about that? Weirdly enough, even though I, I don't really... Hardly spend any time besides this, is Facebook for some reason. Really? Facebook and that's like oh, maybe the only time during the day that I do that. Yeah, interesting. Well, it's just in the morning. Yeah, I don't you know just why. like that. Yeah. Wow. See high school friends. What's your first app? I'm thinking about it, and I. I want to say it's either Pornhub. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna say like that's the morning times when I watch the porn, man. <laughs> the morning time, scroll. you know. What I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, wow. yeah. The morning. I, I watch, dude. I'm watching porn now. Like, like moms watch like soaps. Really? You know what I'm saying? Like, wow. you just have a few. Just uh, I, I like these these episodes. I like these classics. Does it entertain? I'll you go though? to these. This is like a nostalgia at a certain point. Really? Wow. Yeah, yeah. You guys know you don't have this. No, you don't observe like this. It porn does nothing for me. 
Wow, you're wow. a righteous man. No, but like it just, it just. I think I told you guys this, but I went through like a phase where I like looked into like the background behind it, like the lifestyle of these porn stars right, and stuff. Yes. Like, and, then, and then I right. think I was just so turned off. Yeah, right. And I, it just killed the whole thing for me. Really? I mean, that's really fair. Yeah. So you yeah. saw how the sausage was made. Yes. <laughs> how the sausage was yes. came. <laughs> how the sausage <laughs> <Yeah>. came. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you guys, the pig is not pretty. Wow. <laughs> it's not man. No, you, you know I saw that. I saw those documentaries too. Yeah. But the same. You know, at the same time, it's a drug. You know. Yeah, the drugs free. It's a free well, drug. That was the thing. That's what blew me away. Was like I didn't know it was like an actual addiction. Mm-hmm. I didn't know like people were like addicted. People are re- really addicted. I I just went a few weeks without watching it, mm-hmm. and it was it was pretty cool. You know. Yeah. But then I you just. You're still really horned <laughs> up, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, you, you know, Alan, you're yeah, looking yeah. at the trees and stuff. Right. <laughs> yeah. Like, look at my flag. It's like, uh, okay. I like the way the shadows. Uh, it's curvy. <laughs> curvy shadow. Yeah. That, that was three. And then, yeah, recently I've let go again. Porn. I, I, new porn is, it just keeps getting uh, weirder and. Like the relationships keep getting more and more intertwined. Yeah, it's like best friend, yeah. and then it's like your and stepsister. Every, and everyone has become like so selfish. Sister, like like the actors, like the performers are just so selfish. Like the guy is literally trying to get just as much camera time as the woman, and you, you know, and you're just like, you get off the get off the camera time. <laughs> like <laughs> like the camera's like panning in, and like you see his gold chain hanging off. I'm like, dude, get off the camera, dog. This isn't, it is it's good. so bad, dude. Like, it's just, all of it, it's so bad to me, dude. Oh I didn't know, like, God, it was, I was watching like, a, like a behind the scenes documentary. It was like, um, it was like a, it was like a, like an anal scene. And this chick shot it for like five hours. Oh, five hours. Man. Getting ram for five hours. What? And, and then like, in, in like, you know, good grief. Like, like, she's an athlete to me. Like, she, right. just, she took it like a pro. They, they got are, they are like the yeah. NBA players of, and I was just like, it just ruined sex. the whole thing. Like, Yo. and I was always like weirded out by how polite the guys were. All the guys, you, you like, you would assume they were like douchebags. Mm. And then like. A lot of them are. I mean, the, a lot of the. Yeah. 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 But, but yeah. No, like, I mean, like on set, like a lot of them were just like, hey, can, can, we, can we stop? I think she's tired. <laughs> I was just like. What? Really? Yeah. One guy was just like, I, I think she needs some water. Like he was so chivalrous. That's fucking reasonable. A lot of them were. <laughs> <laughs> And wow. I was just like, it was just like a lot of behind it that just ruined it all for me. So every time I watch it now, I just, you know. So I, you still you still watch it? No, oh, I can't. Oh, like okay. I literally can't. If I look at it, I'm just like, yeah. I'm what like, if you knew of a company that treated their actors right? They got plenty of food on set. Uh huh. No one was disrespected with that. Hydrated. Yeah, hydrated. But here's the yeah. thing, though. Yeah. What? The porn would suck. Do you understand? <laughs> Yeah, no one's getting slapped in this one. <laughs> I don't right. Like this. My name's Jonas, and I don't like this. <laughs> right. <laughs> it would be good. <laughs> I need the fish hook. <laughs> they look way too happy. It, would, yeah, right. <laughs> it wouldn't last long. Yeah. No mascara is getting dri- dripped. Uh, like, no one's crying. Be, oh my God, it's such no. an unfair <laughs> toss up. It's such an unfair toss-up. <laughs> the whole thing just makes... I don't know. I just see the whole thing now. I'm just like, all right, I'm done. Yeah. I'm done with it. That's you know? fair. But I mean, we're, we're, we're the generation that I think had porn the most successful to us. Well, now, I'm sure current teens, way well, more. Well, it's, it's addic- the addiction is at all-time high now. Yeah. Porn addiction is at all-time high. But like, that's going through puberty yeah. and right. learning sex from porn. It's really damaging. Like you... Because you think people, but then also girls are also having certain expectations. But it's like, if we do think it is like the, the highest, the athletes of sex, <laughs> right? And don't you want to get that, that mom mentality? They can have access to it within like ten seconds. Which De- when, definitely, when we were growing up, yeah. like that. I remember. Yeah. yeah, I used to. I used to record the audio. I would like, it was you know the Girls Gone Wild trailers. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> I would look those up. I would look those up on the AOL. <laughs> Lick up the girls go watch her and then just record the audio. <laughs> I had a oh, whole wow. motherfucking contraption. <laughs> See, it used to take work. Multimedia. You see, you got set up. <laughs> you guys were stuck in the fantasy. You got to get behind. You got to get. <laughs> What's up with you behind the scenes? All the I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're always trying to get a director's cut. <laughs> you guys the Snyder cut. You just had- <laughs> 
Oh my God. You guys gotta watch the Snyder cut. The original black and white. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god when you're on set yeah. it's just different it's just, it's just, you're like the guy they interview in the documentary right <laughs> you don't know how crazy he was on set <laughs> <laughs> i don't know <laughs> it's you I'm see not, Zack snyder of superman no you know the, the the snyder cut you know they're releasing another justice league movie oh wait, wait, and wait, this yeah, is yeah, that yeah. you know the snyder okay yeah, yeah, i was yeah. with you right <laughs> right <laughs> So, yeah, I don't know. There was a, there was a lot of stuff. There was a lot of stuff that just that just killed it. But yeah, yeah. if there's something, you know, I mean, I guess if it's keeping people happy, yeah, <laughs> for sure. I I think yeah. I mean, if you can have a healthy relationship with porn, mm -hmm. I think it's fine. <laughs> Problem is when it gets unhealthy. Yeah, you know, yeah. Which it's easy to become unhealthy. It is. Yeah, I mean, it's. Are you, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> he starts breaking down. No. <laughs> I, I was thinking about it used to be me <laughs> <laughs> no my uh -oh, bro. all right so i was thinking about all right so there was a documentary out. <laughs> this, this is your porn if anything documentary. I, think, I think documentaries are my, i think i get off on documentaries <laughs> It's so real. It's so real. <laughs> oh, dude. I love it when they make a shadow on their face. <laughs> Black out their face and change so, the voice. So, <laughs> anyway, it, this, was this, this was this documentary about these people against Girls Gone Wild. Against, <laughs> they're against it. Yeah, okay. and they had went and interviewed all these fathers who saw their daughter. <laughs> Damn. Their daughter in the wild. Yo, that's gotta hit so different. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Seeing your daughter on porn. Dude. Yeah, probably watch the oh, same like, infomercial everyone else. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was so weird though because the way the guy did it was he, so he would he would watch it he would watch them and then like he would he would look at these girls and then find out who their fathers were and he would just run up on their homes and show them the video. Oh my god, <laughs> these chicks were. Like, <laughs> Yeah. And it was just, it was so dark. It was like, oh. <laughs> that's wild. It was his own thing. So that it was just guy like, went wild. Oh, yeah. For yeah. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so I, I Zach Snyder <laughs> gone wild. <laughs> the director. Snyder. Yeah, I mean, it was really, but it was really funny to look at because the yeah. dads were crying and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it was, it was yeah. They had no idea. Like, and that <laughs> stuff was, I mean, it was, I mean, it was boobs. Yeah, right, girls going wild was boobs. Boob. Yeah, to, yeah. Today, if you rolled up on a dad, yeah. it's like yeah. a baby's assholes inside out. Yeah, <laughs> what? People be showing crazy stuff on Instagram. Right, right, yo, yo. That brings us to our first story, man. The Pope. <laughs> <laughs> the Pope. The Pope liked this Instagram models. This yeah. Instagram, shall we say, who? Yeah. H e a o u x is is tastefully. She's a tasteful model. Yes. On Instagram. Yes. The Pope liked a picture of hers. Jonas, you have the details. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm here live now at the Vatican. <laughs> we got an exclusive interview with the Pope. Everybody, stay tuned. The Pope is upstairs right now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do I say? What do I tell him? <laughs> like a juicy ass. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. And Neil, I gotta tell you, and Neil, I gotta tell you, it smells like a fifth grade classroom in here. <laughs> and, so anyway, um, the 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 Pope, the Pope's uh, Instagram <laughs> account, yeah, like the photo of a Brazilian model. Mm -hmm. uh, by the way, this model um, was at one point six followers at the time. After this, she's now at two point one million followers. Wait, how much was she before? One point six already. Okay. Quite a quite okay. a few. Right, and it was crazy. Like apparently, he like the like was really brief, but it was just enough. So it was live. Well, I, you, what, the thing is, uh, I think uh, Instagram's algorithm kind of plays a part in it too. So when someone that famous likes something, it's gonna like blast it. Yeah. And then, like, everyone can just see, like, oh, my gosh, like, the Pope liked it. Like, even after long after you remove the like, it's right. still, like... It, sometimes it'll say, like, somebody's name that you have in common right. that liked a thing. Instagram is, like, a really janky club promoter. Yeah, it <laughs> just, just, just promotes people yeah. who aren't there. Yeah, no, the Pope's inside. <laughs> Pope loves this place. $50. <laughs> Shop now. Yeah, yeah. Dude, man, the, I, I like that the Pope is... I like that the Pope is, in. you know? Right. Be free, Pope. <laughs> I mean, you know, it's God's image. Right. I just, I, I just don't like that the Vatican is like, you know, they're trying to backpedal away from it. 
they're reaching out to the Instagram CEO. They're like, hey, we don't know how this happened. It's like, yeah, you knew how this happened. But are are <laughs> they claiming that, hey, we the Pope doesn't handle his own uh, Instagram account? Or are they saying like... No, there's their story. Yeah, the story is Pope Francis's Instagram account liked the bikini. Okay, so that's the thing. We we don't know if Pro Francis, Francis liked it himself. You understand? Word. But so I, okay, interesting. But I don't know. So, so f- they're they're saying well, they I guess they don't reveal like whether someone else likes does stuff on his social media. But they're saying that nobody in our camp did that. They're saying hey, someone right. investigate this. Somehow it happened with no one. Not one of us pressing the button. Right. Mm. Oh. Right. Mm. Somebody hacked the Pope's account. Hacked the Pope's and account. One picture. <laughs> oh man. Whoa. But even here's the real question though. How does something like that even show up on that feed? On the Pope's feed? Yeah, because apparently he follows no people. Oh. So whoever liked the picture had to go out looking for it. Yeah, they yeah. went out to look. You know, you search a hashtag. Maybe maybe on the suggested on the explore page. Yeah. For the Pope, it was like, hey. Wow. Right. Check this out. This is a really popular model. Wow. This probably wasn't the first time they scrolled. I I, I like to think it was the Pope. <laughs> <laughs> I like to think it was. I'm him. not sleeping on dudes over 40 and how good they can be with technology now. Maybe, you yeah. know, quarantine has forced everybody yeah. to learn how to <laughs> use this stuff really well. The Pope's learned. <laughs> and well, it's, only, it's weird that he would only like one photo of something like that. Right. The only thing that kind of makes sense to me is that he, whoever this is, he the Pope has uh-huh. a fake Instagram account. I forgot to switch that he was on the, the official one and mm-hmm. liked that photo. But he's right. been liking a ton of photos. On that uh, fake Instagram like a burner account. account. Burner account. The Pope's Vince got a thing. burner account. It's a cardinal. Right. It's one of the cardinals. But, but let me tell you something right now, though. What? The only kind of person that would like a Brazilian model Instagram page is a little boy. What? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. <laughs> All right. What? Uh, in little, what sense? little boys in the Vatican. Uh huh. I'm thinking one of them hacked the oh, account. Oh, wow. dude. Maybe it's them trying to reach out, uh, cry yeah. for help. <laughs> hey, this is what this guy should be liking. <laughs> right. Just locked up in them chambers all day. You know? The only place we could escape is inside of that ass. Yeah. This is how they get off. That's wow. wow. No, I well, don't know. just a thought. It's probably some intern. They <laughs> get some, you know, unpaid intern at the Vatican. Like a thirteen-year-old <laughs> bo- boy. Yeah, just intern. bored out of their mind, and then they're like, you know, yeah, like in the PS5 and all this stuff. <laughs> or what about this being a power play for some guy who's trying to be the next pope? Oh, ooh, that's another oh. one. I like that's how we one. immediately go conspiracy, <laughs> right? Take. <laughs> by the way, by, by the way, guys, this is a documentary right here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, Jonas what is going to come. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, <that's right. laughs> the story never ended. <laughs> <laughs> what, what would the name of the documentary be? Um, one like. One like. Ooh. Oh, I like that. Double tap. Double tap. Double tap. Uh-huh. The, the Holy Trinity. Ooh. Maybe, maybe, maybe not even a name, just like a red heart. <laughs> oh, nice. Yo, but it's, just, it's like a Pope hat. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like or that. Or maybe it's a heart with like a cross inside yeah. of it. Wait, the heart is a butt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it turns and then it's it's just her again. Right. <laughs> Did you guys actually ever get a chance to see the picture of the bikini model? No, I have not. Dude, she is she is really hot. She's in like a she's in like this Christmas bikini outfit. Christmas. So looks a little early, but <laughs> I mean Thanksgiving. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. but you know, right. I guess yeah. Walmart's there. So. Maybe they were just trying to get in the spirit. Got to get in the spirit somehow. What, what is right. a Christmas bikini? Is it just a red bikini? No, it's like a really short. It's, it's all bikinis are short. I think yeah. the, the 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 bikini is no longer than a belt. It's really short. Wow. Right. Um, and the Christmas yeah. part of it. Yeah, yeah. but there, but there's a part of me that likes to think like the Pope and like the Cardinals like they fly out women to like the Vatican like the NBA players do with the bubble. Yeah. They just fly them out. Hmm. You know? You think? You think they're <laughs> flying them out? <laughs> the Pope is? How much do you think they would pay him? Um, she has to do it for free. There's no way. The Ten t- Vatican t- coins. <laughs> <laughs> is that Vatican a Vatican coin. Can buy you anything in the gift shop. 
and <laughs> that's about it. <laughs> they did that old Vatican switcheroo. <laughs> right. It will be card Monty at the, at the Vatican. <laughs> Don't forget to redeem your Vatican cords at the front desk <laughs> on your way out. <laughs> You can give the Pope one Vatican coin and he'll sing you a song. <laughs> I want to go to Vatican World. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, man, dude! I um, I hope I don't know. I, they're they're gonna run a serious investigation on it. And uh, honestly, the model she feels blessed. She she feels like she's going to heaven. Mm. She, I mean, yeah. Body's blessed, that's for sure. <laughs> so, so um, you know, we'll we'll see. And her IG two point two million. Oh, two point two. Excuse me, two point two million. Wow. You know, what's the investigation gonna reveal? Say <laughs> we did an investigation. Pope's innocent. Everyone had to go back. Oh, to yo, her her full ass is out. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. It's like it's the length of a belt. Like it's. I no... see. So so there's like a small, almost like a, a doily. Yeah. And it's a Christmas bikini? I don't know if it's actually Christmas. It looks a little, a little Christmassy to me. I, <laughs> it looks, looks like a picnic table. What's Christmas plan. about it? All right. You know what? Full disclaimer, I don't celebrate Christmas anyway. <laughs> but it looked like it looked like It does it. feel like a gift. Yeah. Doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> the gift that keeps giving. <laughs> and that's why the Pope was like, Yep. <laughs> Double tap. <laughs> I, I I I don't know. I, I think the the Pope is you know, shows that he is he is not uh Above us, you know. So I let's this okay. whole thing. Now here's the thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's say you guys were the IT people behind this Instagram account, okay. right? Vatican comes to you like, "Yo, Neil, mm. you're Indian. Fix this." All right. <laughs> all right. By the way, Vatican <laughs> didn't need to say that, but uh, all right. well, we have to be <laughs> very racist, all of us. Yeah, so yeah, we have to be real here. Jump. Okay, Pope. Are you the Pope or like the spokesman for the Vatican? I'm both. Whatever. All right. Cool. <laughs> Do I don't know how to address you now. Right, maybe go, 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 maybe go, go, go. we're having this conversation over the phone. Yes. Okay. Okay. You understand? Yeah. <laughs> right. And um, <laughs> you do the research and you find out, like, yo, the Vatican for sure like this. Yeah. How are you going to break it to him? How are you going to tell him, like, listen, we did the research. This is all you. Somebody in this house liked it. Yeah. Like, how would you even tell him that? You can just tell him straight up. Why? Yeah. What? Well. I would, you know, okay, sit him down. Neil's not Catholic, everybody. <laughs> so this, you know, this he he means nothing. He means nothing to me. Wow. The Pope or me? <laughs> 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 I don't mean anything to you because I'm not Catholic. Yeah. No, no, like you know, like in he's a not scenario. He, in a scenario. In a scen- right. In oh, scenario. we're in the yes. Yeah, I'm not saying like you know he's a nobody. Yeah. That's not what I'm saying. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I Dude, think that would be a bad clip to cut out of context. Wow. Yeah, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh Take my that God. hashtag the Vatican. Do the yeah. Cardinals? They're like constantly looking for. They have an algorithm that searches for like people talking about them. Oh yeah. You imagine a cardinal going in the Pope. Pope, yeah, look at this clip, and it's just of you. Like I don't even fuck with him because <laughs> we're like the Pope had his dick out and like all this stuff. And then the Pope saw our show. Wouldn't that be crazy? Would you Would you let him on the show? If would I let the Pope on the show? Yeah. Of course. <laughs> Of course, the Pope is welcome on this show at all times. I generously extend the, <laughs> the offer for and the Pope like, to come on the show. And he was like, we need the help. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, we need clickbait. Man, dude, speaking of little boys, I wanted to. <laughs> Always a smooth segue. Oh, yeah. yeah. Also a clip that shouldn't be taken out of context. <laughs> Speaking uh, of smooth young boys. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I don't know if you guys heard of this kid, Ben Watkins. I don't know if you know. He was, he was, uh, he was, uh, he was in Master Chef Junior Edition, mm. Chef Gordon Ramsay's show. This kid was 14 years old, right? Okay. Amazing chef, like Gordon Ramsay's favorite kid. Wow. Black kid, fourteen years old, wow. pretty fat. Kind of looks like me, actually, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> ben Watkins, you said. Yeah, Ben Watkins. Yeah, this is him right here. <laughs> ben Watkins, oh, and uh, Gordon Ramsay, man, he re- he really rocks with him. Mm. Um, Dude, he's got big foot. Wow. Yeah, no, he's um he's a real deal. So anyway, he's fourteen. He passed away. Oh my God! What? Yeah, he passed away. When? 
Um, this was actually the date is here the seventeenth this week. That's so sad. Oh yeah, for sure, dude. And check this out. He passed away three years after his parents passed away from a murder suicide. To the day. To the day. Oh. It's dark. To the day. Wow. You know, but I mean, he's a really. He's a really amazing cook. I mean, this is a lot of food the world won't get to taste. And it just, you know, and I, I read this while I was complaining about my phone not having service. <laughs> you know wow. Like, Yelling at somebody? Right. Right. Puts it in perspective a little bit. Oh, for sure. But it was like, it was one of those like, hor- like crippling, humble moments for me. Wow. Where it was just like, this kid's 14. How did he die? Uh, he was battling cancer. Uh, what the fuck? Disclaimer, folks. This this story gets sadder. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, I also want to say you did. We usually like kind of talk about what stories we're gonna do before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we usually kind of have like, no a, yeah, we'll talk about before. maybe this. And this. You didn't, you this is you're springing this on us right now. So right, 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 right. Uh, right. I just want the I just want people at home to know <laughs> live. <laughs> I was like, I don't know anything live about crying this. reaction. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so it gets okay. So Ben Watkins murder suicide. I had a kid. I went to high school with named Ben Watkins. Really? Was he the white, white or black kid? He was a black kid. What? He was not a chef. Oh, okay. No, but okay. <laughs> At that time, and this kid's too young. He's oh. what fourteen. So right. How old? How old was your Ben Watkins? He was a year older than me. Just a year, like now. Yeah. Are you yeah. sure you didn't skip like six, seven? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, this is a really <laughs> solid gap. Uh, no, he was a year older than me. But we're like 27 now. Right. So this kid wasn't even born yet. You know, it's just, this, it, it's it's crazy. It's crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? Because, mm-hmm. you know, I took, I took, I took home economics. You know what I'm saying? Wow. I really could have been a chef. You know, it really would have fit your personality. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> General sense of uh, giving, but I didn't know they worked so hard. Mm. Mm. You know, and which is like another thing too. Like people like in 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 the cooking and healthcare, there's no like you do, you never get holidays off. It's a weird roller coaster in the holiday season. Oh, that's such an that's such an interesting yeah. role in the ho- healthcare system. Oh, for sure. Mm-hmm. People that cook the food. Yeah. Wow. And so, like that's that's the roller coaster for me. Like, like the holidays come around, I'm just like, oh my gosh! Like, I get to, no, I'm going to be working on Christmas. You'll be working on Christmas. Yeah. Wow. I'll be working on New Year's. Wow. They'll be working on this, like you know. Yeah. So it's like you know, it's just a solid shout out to like the people of hospitality. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. So, um, so this Ben Watkins, his parents mm-hmm. have a murder suicide. Yeah. Yeah. So, he's gone three years since that. Yeah. Why are you laughing? No. <laughs> Why are you smiling? No. You know, when I look at you, I just... <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm looking at the camera. Oh, my gosh. But And keep it clear, folks. I'm not laughing at the story. I'm laughing at Neil's face. Right. It's a very clear difference. <laughs> if you were here, you would do the same thing, too. I, I guess. <laughs> so, and then you said it gets sadder? Yeah. yeah. How so? I mean, he's, he's not here anymore. I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Yeah, I but the that. food, the cuisine, you know, it's like That's so awful. Man. You know, but it's like he really had the potential to be something. But oh man, you know, it's just I was I was watching a documentary, and as I was looking at it, <laughs> oh, for some reason, man. for some reason, no matter it was it, wait, you said you were watching a documentary. I was. I was watching that. <laughs> so you were fucking. If you were rock hard, no. Watching <laughs> this doc on Listen, the kid, Jeff. No, look. Okay. <laughs> For some reason, no matter how like trained black chefs are, they always end up owning a barbecue spot. I've never understood this dynamic. Really? Like, yeah, I was watching Pitmasters, like the best barbecue chef, just mm-hmm. like a black, like everyone from all over the world flies in the habit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Michelin, like four stars, like trained at like the New York Academy of Culinary. Yeah. And he's like over a fire pit, like putting it, like burning a brisket. <laughs> it was just like, you know, it's like, damn, this is, is this as good as we get? Like in this industry, like this is. Do you think they feel forced to go that route? I mean, you don't have a choice. I mean, people like your barbecue, you got to keep making it. Oh. 
You understand? You can't you can't go back. That's a fair point. <laughs> it's a fair point, yeah. People like Right. And you get to feed people. It's it's it is art too, you know. Right. In a way. But I mean, have you ever fed someone and they're always like asking you for the same dish like over and over again? Like uh, over? No. Oh no, it's never happened to me. You guys don't cook. You cook? This isn't about me. Yeah, you like you brought up the I mean, Chef Boy R D over here. I mean, look, I mean I, I microwave some popcorn and people I might put a little something on there. Popcorn? Yeah, put You're leading with popcorn? Yeah, I put a little something on popcorn. You put what? So, uh, what a little paprika? Crack. Crack. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all go to the lobby <laughs> and get ourselves some crack. But it keeps them coming back. <laughs> <laughs> they love our movie theater. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we don't even play a movie. <laughs> Let the crack do its job. No one's blinked in the last hour. Right. Imagine, imagine a movie theater. <laughs> no one goes to see the movie, just the popcorn. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> They're all in line at the yeah. recession stand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Put more butter on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there, there's there, there's no line to get to the movie. There's a, a huge ass line to get to the concession. <laughs> the concessions. <laughs> Just. <laughs> it's like the screening of the Avengers. It's empty. Nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Robert Downey Jr. is in the theater by himself. Right. I'm sure I tried some of that crap. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> People keep trying to tra- trade their watch or something. Hey, can you right. take watch? <laughs> hey, man, I'll give you my ticket. Right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And not, to, not to mention the, the, the right. suppliers, the movie theater. But, it, you know, in all fairness, though, like the, uh, the, price, the price of popcorn in a movie theater is about the size of an eight ball. Like, <laughs> it's, uh, about, it's about the same price. They do take an arm and a leg. Oh, for sure. Oh, yeah. For sure. It's $20 about- for a ticket. <laughs> Uh, thirteen dollars for popcorn, seven dollars for a bunch of crunch. Don't even think about getting a coke. Don't even think about it. No, there's a water fountain. That's right. You ask for a cup of water, right. and they insult you with the cup they give you. Right. Yeah. Oh my this god. This fucking urine sample cup. Yeah. Here you go. You fucking loser. Yeah. This Welcome salty ass. AMC. Yeah, yeah. This salty water. Dude. Right. It's just a guy pissing behind the machine. <laughs> Fuck these. Guys. And it's always warm. It's always warm. <laughs> it's always warm. It's always so warm. Oh my gosh, man. That, oh, that's, man. I remember like middle school, high school dates. Like you, you know, you take somebody to, to a yeah. movie date, and it's kind of like, oh man, you got to. But do you drop? You drop and you know you pull out your Velcro wallet. <laughs> You drop like twenty, thirty dollars just on food, you know. Yeah. Would Did you ever? Do you ever do the? Uh, you take. You know that there's like that. There's that like thing in like movies or, where it's like, yeah, man, you put the popcorn on your lap, and then when she's reaching for the popcorn, she like, she touch your dick. Right. It, it, does that sound like it would work for y'all? No. <laughs> It never happened to me. I was wondering, does that never happened to you? Never happened to me. Okay. But I did think about, like, maybe would it, I would I think about I trying. If you would have to be, like. Wait, how, how's this happening? You have, you, you're supposed to put the popcorn. <laughs> you put, a, like, hole, you put a hole. Nobody try this. I want to say, <laughs> don't anybody try Wait, this. To the, just to the side of your lap, so to no, get you, to it? You just literally, like, put it on top of your, right. your dick, the bag on top of your dick. Uh, you yeah. cut a hole under it? <laughs> See, that's the way I've, I've seen that's what I, that's what I movie. Well, yeah. you gotta you gotta get scissors. You gotta bring scissors inside with you. Well, that's the only way I've seen it in movies. Is there's like a hole in the yeah? Oh, oh there's a hole in the bag. Yeah, there's but then it's like, isn't that burning bag? your freaking uh, right? Because then you got salt and yeah. butter, right? And kernels grazing against your yeah. dick. Yeah, but it's also a great lubricant. So what are you gonna? Butter might be a good lubricant. <laughs> Caramel. Caramel. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. <laughs> yeah, it would be it hardens the, the turtle shells. But in your version, yeah. it's just a bag. Well, that was the, that was like the real your idea. Yeah, that's the movie version. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cut a hole in it. But no, yeah, like the real life, you couldn't actually cut a hole in the bag. No, you couldn't. No. In my my popcorn always comes in a in a tub. Yeah. Tub. No, okay, you yeah, in a tub. Right. You could, yeah. 
Yeah, so yeah, it didn't work. Yeah, I never tried it. Yeah, I or just, in the free mm. cup of water you got. <laughs> you <just> got, <laughs> you it. Put your, got a hole in the bottom of that your, that fucking styrofoam. <laughs> just that lunch cup. Yeah, <laughs> you could. You could easily pop a hole through. Yeah. That. Oh yeah, for sure you could. And then like, hey, you thirsty? Yeah, you have, like, a moat around yeah. your dick. Hey, you can pick at this water. You can just <laughs> right. <laughs> grab, grab a handful. <laughs> what if she looks at it and she's like, "Who gets a cup of water?" <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, right. yeah. He's like, I'm more offended at the cup of water than you putting your penis in. <laughs> right. Right. Oh my god. Uh, be a gentleman. You get a coke. <laughs> be a gentleman, get some crack. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's what a real man gets. Crack cocaine. What a real men get. <laughs> you know? Man. Yeah, but yeah, did you you ever uh you ever the excitement, the excitement of holding somebody's hand in a movie theater? You know when you're like twelve. No, no, I don't. I don't. Uh, I don't. I don't like nobody bothering me when I'm watching. <laughs> <laughs> when you're watching your documentary. Yeah, well, well, like in a movie theater. If I go, it's like a real like thing for me. You never taken a date to a movie theater? I have. Okay, so you just sit on the other side of the theater. <laughs> 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 you go up there. Okay. Yeah. We'll <laughs> meet after. <laughs> I, we'll meet right here. Have notes ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Five critiques, five bias. <laughs> <laughs> Josh has got an iPad with a keyboard. Right. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking at her like I'm looking at her like cue up Rotten Tomatoes. <laughs> <Let's go. laughs> the thing is, and before we go to our seats, I'm going to tell you the saddest story about this little boy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, she had a great popcorn recipe. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> I, don't, I, I was told I was a talker, though. I was told, like, really? but, yeah, but I, I don't know, man. I, I don't get the date thing at the movie. Never understood it. Well, it's just like, it's like kind of like a, I don't know. I don't know. There's something about it. It was, yeah. like, it was like a window where you could, like, get some minimal physical contact with, yeah. the, with the girl. It's a good, like, middle school, high school Yeah, thing. middle school for sure. You, like, hold somebody's hand for, like, 90 mm-hmm. minutes. Which is just insane because it's like you know, right. your hands get sweaty. You I know, think it's so. just good because at that time you're so nervous yeah. that you want to avoid talking to somebody. Exactly, but if you're, you're still you're still horny. Yeah, or you want to touch people. Right. If you do it now, it's not a good date because you just don't talk to that person for two two and a half hours. <laughs> oh, no, that's so real. There's a point now, right, where yeah. you'd never take someone out to a movie now that you like for a first date. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, here's I don't think I've ever had that. I don't think I, the closest I've ever had to that though. <laughs> the closest I've had to that was like, uh, like you know, I I went on like a work trip uh-huh. and we went on a plane and like you know she was like one of the chicks I went with she's like super cute and like she told me it was like her first time on like a plane she sat next to me oh. and she just latched on to me in fear for the whole three hour flight. <laughs> so I mean that's pretty close. That's pretty close to the movie. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, it was like her first time ever on a plane. Okay. And the plane took off. Okay. And she just had like a panic. And she just she just latched on to me. Like physically held you? Yeah. For three hours? Yeah. Out of fear? It's it's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> was there a movie playing at the time? <laughs> no. <laughs> there was no movie. No, there was no movie. There was no movie. This was like the plane just starting. <laughs> this is the plane just starting. So tell, well, okay, so you're how old? Yeah, no, it was like 22. And you're flying from where to where? This is from Florida, flying to New York. Florida to New York. Yeah. Three-hour flight. Up yeah. the coast. Yeah, up the coast. Up the Atlantic coast. Up the, yeah, up the coast. Atlantic. Okay, and yeah. then you and this woman, what's her like? What's her breakdown? Did, no, no, no. Sweet, sweet chick. No, no, no. no. Like, like is she is she older, younger, white, No, dude, she was like a year older than me. Asian? No, she was a year older than me. Oh, okay. Actually, Indian. Ah. Uh, uh, Oh, look at that. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> now you're latching on to me. <laughs> <laughs> My sense of pattern. <laughs> Jonas likes Indians. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jo- I, most people do. I think I told you that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. no, well, we we explicitly had a discussion yeah, before. Oh, sure. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, so yeah, she was hot. Gorgeous. Of course. And uh, yeah, it was her first time. Like, you know, she's this a little scaredy cat. She was, you know, we, she had like strict parents and stuff, the whole upbringing. Wow. She told you she, that or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her parents like we, were never. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, she, <laughs> you will never go on a plane. <laughs> you will never look at a plane. <laughs> you will never look outside your window. <laughs> you will never look outside the house. <laughs> She's in chains. <laughs> 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 That's why she latched on to you. Right. Yeah. Like, Dad, no. <laughs> Help me, Jonah. <laughs> no. Oh my god. 
<laughs> you'll never. <laughs> we are so strict. <laughs> <laughs> so oh it, it, it was the first time in her career like she you knew she was independent she was making this much she got her own place and mm. it was like the first she's like you know what I'm gonna get on the plane and what'd she do this. what'd she do what'd she do she was an engineer oh nice classic. she was an engineer classic classic. <laughs> she said classic classic that's good no that's good classic yeah, 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 yeah we're yeah. really good at engineering yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so um, no, it was, a, it, was a, it was a cool gig man <laughs> traveled a lot and then uh, but yeah dude the whole the whole like flight she just latched on and we got there she latched on then too she just went and, and she had even more anxiety about going back Mm. Oh, so y'all kept in touch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whoa. Yeah, yeah, we did. Okay. Yeah, but I, I, honestly, I, I hope she's over it now. I haven't talked to her in like years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I hope she's over it now. That yeah, would be... you should reach out. Yeah, you think, you think so, Neil? <laughs> so you want to take a flight? <laughs> yeah. I'll protect you. <laughs> <laughs> Neil, would you like to meet <laughs> Neil? <laughs> yeah, set me up, dude. Yeah. <laughs> That'd be an interesting blind date. Like, you set up a friend and it's like, it's a flight. To Chicago, <laughs> like we we both got, we got you tickets next to each other, so a flight to Chicago. Chicago, I would be fucked because I I'm on a plane. I'm on a plane. I'm asleep in twenty minutes. Yeah, I'm very lucky. I just I'm out. Yeah, can you can you sleep comfortably on a plane though? It's never comfortable. No, never. never. You just pat. You just like put your body in a coma yeah. dome right. just to like not be bothered by yeah. the fact that you're crammed into a metal can. Right. With a bunch of people flying through the air. <laughs> It's a way to not think about it. Exactly. <laughs> Disassociate. <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was it was a it was a it was a it was an interesting flight. It yeah. Was interesting. You know. So wow, you guys. Yeah. That's such a beautiful story. I'm surprised. It was nice. I mean, I got I got both of the seats because I was just too big. Like, <laughs> There's like a sequel to the Big Sick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yo. Yeah. Oh, you eventually hook up. Yeah, but. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing. Um. But that was a uh, professional. It was thing like because when I sat down, I had like the middle seat, and then like the guy who was supposed to sit next to me, like he saw the row and he was like, "I'm not sitting there." <laughs> and so he just he just stood in the back. Stood in the back. For the flight. It was her dad. <laughs> I'll not sit to this fat fuck. <laughs> I'll stand in the back. And then she's like, "My dad's so crazy." <laughs> <laughs> it's too strict. Help me. <laughs> yeah, he's so strict. It was a bizarre flight. He just didn't want to sit there. He was like, yeah. it's like, it's not going to be a lot of space. It's not going to be a lot of space. <laughs> I'd rather stand for three hours. Yeah. What? You paid $350 right. to stand. Right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Dude, it was, a, crazy, it was a wild bro. flight. It was a wild flight. Wait, so you, you got a middle seat? Is that why? Yeah, I got a middle seat. So you do you need the extender when you go on the planes? No, no, no. Okay. Um, I've lost a little bit of weight since then. That's good, man. Lost a little bit of chub. So, so do you think she was holding on to you or just had no choice? Because you were half in her seat. <laughs> she was actually pushing you away. You missed it, everybody. What if she was actually pushing me away? Yeah. <laughs> Insane. Oh, my gosh, man. Man. No, no, it was a, uh, it was a, uh, I mean, there were a lot of stuff before the fight that kind of happened that, like, kind of gave her so much anxiety, too. There's a lot of weird stuff, man. But it was her first... It's interesting. People people open up to you really easily. Yeah, you yeah. have that kind of vibe. I think you got that too. I think Alan has that too. Oh yeah, Alan has it too. Man. You Three know, of us. it's Papaya Island, man. It's you the know? island, man. You want to come in? You come in. You talk to us. And listen, it's papaya been a, house. It's yeah. the papaya house. It's the know? papaya house. The hype house. You know. Um, well, listen, up. man. We we got like five minutes left. Really? Do you want to? Yeah. Do you want to do a, a quick Florida update, Florida oh, man? For sure. Real quick. Yeah, you know, I, you, boom, boom, in out. But Florida, let's just talk about Tampa. Let's talk about Tampa, man. You are a Tampa native. Tampa native. I am not. Alan is not. <laughs> but, but you we guys are will, your you, friends. You guys will be coming. <laughs> we will be visiting Tampa. Right. We'll be doing a live show <laughs> yes. at Raymond James Stadium. <laughs> uh, <laughs> We're going to be opening up for the Pope. <laughs> <Yeah>. Carol Baskin <laughs> right. will be featuring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then we'll do the halftime show. <laughs> I will be bringing my multimedia stick of Girls Gone Wild audio. <laughs> <laughs> the sounds? Yeah, just the Everybody sounds. Everybody can play the sounds. I mean, the sounds. The <laughs> Girls Gone Wild director is going to come, Zack Snyder. Right. <laughs> He's coming through. Uh, the original <laughs> cut. <laughs> we go go back to that. So you had sounds of girls <laughs> lifting up their shirts and going, woo. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> the sound of fabric. <laughs> fabric getting lifted up and going, woo. Wild. Take it off. <laughs> or steel drums <laughs> look at what's happening here <laughs> the guy who had to do that voiceover bro. 
<laughs> Some guy in his forties in Tarzana. <laughs> he sounded like he raised kids successfully. <laughs> like he put some of them through college. It would be so funny if he sees his daughter <laughs> while he's doing the voiceover. <laughs> girls, 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 lifting their shirts up. <laughs> Spring break. <laughs> Spr- T- Tiffany. <laughs> <laughs> Tiffany, get down from there. <laughs> Put your shirt back on. <laughs> your mother loves you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway. Oh yeah. Tampa. <laughs> so, Tampa. 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 Tell us about Tampa. <laughs> so uh, Toronto Raptors just announced they're having all their home games in Tampa. Why? Why? It's, you know what? They're going to blend in so well there. Is is that because with the COVID, they don't want to cross, cross international borders? Well, everyone wants to be in Florida because, honestly, it's it's the state right now with the least regulations on this COVID thing. Wow. Um, mm-hmm. Literally, like, the least regulated states. Texas, too, is another one. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. So yeah. it's like, you know, they wouldn't let these guys have a bubble in L.A. Get out of here. For sure. Yeah, you could do know? it in L.A. So everyone has to go there, and they're realizing that Tampa is the best city in Florida. It's just, it's always been that way. It's a known fact. The Bay. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it's a known, it's a known fact. Don't ask nobody else. It's a known fact. <laughs> so <laughs> they, um, they're having all their home games. I just, you know, they're going to blend in well. They're going to, you know, they're polite. People, they're polite. Just that politeness will just come together. You just, really? People in Tampa are polite? Yeah. Actually, yeah. Everybody I know from Tampa is polite. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're, yeah we're not, you know, so but it's. But y'all, y'all are also wild. You know. Like y'all, I, y'all get down, for sure. Like girls going wild? <laughs> Come to Tampa. <laughs> New director, Jonas Prison <laughs> I really wanted to take a documentary and approach right. to this project. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I think I think the guy who did the voiceover for Girls Gone Wild is the same guy, like like it's the same like SNL announcer. <laughs> Don Prado. Right. <laughs> and tonight's guest, Dave Chappelle. <laughs> Dude. Boobs, boobs <laughs> with Dave Chappelle. <laughs> Musical guest. Musical guest. The Steel boom. drums guy. <laughs> <laughs> Damien Marley. In it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so the Raptors are going to be there. They're going to be hooping. Yeah, dude. Tampa. Are they going to have? They're going to have fans probably. Right. Half Here's another thing. Quarter capacity. Yeah, yeah. The Raptors also attract Drake. You understand? Oh, uh, wow. You understand? So Drake's going to be in Tampa. Listen. Okay. You got to go back, man. <laughs> I'm sure they're going to be recruiting all the light skinned dudes <laughs> for the army. <laughs> <laughs> for the OVO army? OVO. OVO. <laughs> OVO. <laughs> OVO. <laughs> I love you, Drake. <laughs> I love you, Drake. <laughs> <laughs> Was that the owl? The owl, yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, all right. Wait, this is also the heart emoji from the Pope from the Pope poster, <laughs> which is also bad. <laughs> In the name. Okay, all right, all right. It's getting wild. Okay. No, no. Imitating no. the Pope. No, it's it's yeah yeah. This dude, this episode. <laughs> wow. Like waves. Yeah, but also to the first, the first. I just want to get this out there too. So Drake's gonna be in Tampa, yes. But you want to get something out. Yeah. We're gonna get a live performance, guys, um, along with the Super Bowl coming up too. And then on top of that too, uh, the first NFL game with all black referees are gonna be the Buccaneers uh, versus the Chargers. Um, actually, I don't think it's, it's the Rams. Actually, you better not get that wrong. That's the main. It's the Rams. Okay, my okay. fault. Yeah. Good. 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 So it apparently it's a big deal. So um, that's pretty cool. It's a pretty like you know, and I don't. I, I'm honestly I'm surprised it took this long for as long as the NFL been around. Is it? Um, is this scheduled or something? Like, hey, everyone's <laughs> schedule coincided. There's only black people. I like how Alan is like. You think they made a mistake in the <laughs> schedule? <laughs> <laughs> Did they mean? <laughs> <laughs> Did they see the pictures? Yeah, like the schedule just kind of lined up. <laughs> uh, like the white guy took a vacation during this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> during this week. <laughs> it was the detail. 
<laughs> well, no, and, and the game is the twenty third. The game is the twenty third of November. Yeah, twenty third. So that's wait, this Sunday, right? That's this Sunday. That's this Sunday. Wow, and the time right now is eleven twenty three. Yeah. Look, look at the time right now. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anyway. <laughs> Yo, guys, we have to end it. <laughs> We're done, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Getting lifted by a black referee. <laughs> it's the pole. <laughs> 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 it makes me take my shirt off. All right. Okay. <laughs> 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 the pole. Oh, my gosh. Anyway, I'm so sorry. I no, too, many no. too many callbacks. Too many. Too many callbacks. Too many. Too many. No, but that is crazy. It's still 1123. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's gonna be great. It's gonna be a great Sunday. Uh, very progressive for yeah. the NFL. You know, they, this is the least they can do. Really, the NFL is so far behind on all the uh, <laughs> stuff. <laughs> all st- you know, <laughs> you think the refs are gonna take a knee for the anthem? Oh man, they they can't. They, they can't, can't, man. Yeah. They can't take no knees, man. They gotta. Yeah, because you're the ref. Right. Yeah. You gotta be clear headed. Mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> yeah. Get all that, get all that race stuff out of your brain, <laughs> right? But there is a part of me that just that just like wants them to look out for all the black players, <laughs> just so all the players, <laughs> right? So all the players. <laughs> just Except the kicker, yeah. Right, right. <laughs> yeah, the kicker is like, fellas, just go for it, <laughs> right? Right. Well, you know, I just want to see, I just want to see, like, you know, and King step on like somebody's helmet. And the ref just looks at him and winks. Yeah. <laughs> just like, you're good, dog. I didn't see anything. Right. You understand? <laughs> Today, we let it slide. <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh, you know? But, you know, it's it's all in time coming. Apparently, this is a thing. They, they had a woman. They, didn't they have the, a woman uh, ref again? Referee, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. pretty cool. Wow. Yeah. I love so, it. I love it. I love all that. Yeah. So, yeah. We'll, we'll see. Does uh, it affect the quality of the games? I, the calls are cool. I know. The call's going to be later? Yeah. <laughs> 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 You know, throw yeah. a flag <laughs> at the next point. No, this is for two, two yeah, ago. Two. Um, Forgot. <laughs> Dude, I, <laughs> I want to say be, honestly, and then, you know, these uh, apparently also too, these refs are in great shape. I didn't know you had to be like. So I was going to ask you this. Um, I, I refereed one intramural game in college, <laughs> a basketball game. Oh yeah, and it's really hard. <laughs> really, because you got to run. You're constantly moving. Because like for basketball, the refs are in like a triangle. It's like a formation. So there's always somebody covering a baseline, always somebody covering a sideline and the other baseline. And so they are like constantly running up and down and rotating all this stuff. And then everybody's like, fucking hates you. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's And it's, uh, yeah, dude, those guys are in crazy shape. But I've seen the replays, though, where like a ref is like right there next to the play. Like, how come the players just never hit the refs? Like, how come? Yeah, so, uh, Sometimes they do. They do? Yeah. yeah. Like, there, there's never any casualties with the refs. No. No, I never know. Like they're lucky. in there, but they they kind of stay out the way. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, we probably got to get really just sharp. Yeah, and they probably move in a whole different relationship to the rest of the game. Probably. Yeah, you know, they have you their know. own spacing and all that. Would yeah. you uh, Would you do it? Would you guys be a ref full time? Sure. Doesn't it pay like something crazy? Like you, you get paid quite a bit. Yeah. If oh you, really? If you ref like the Super Bowl at the minimum six figures. For yeah, you, you get regular season. Really? Oh, we've regular season too. Yeah. But see, that's the thing. We say that, but like we would have, we would have to start, like you know, like volunteering ref. Yeah. You know, like we there's no in. Maybe there's like a training camp or something. Mm-hmm. Maybe we could join that. Oh, yeah. so there's like no training. There's like no kind of like formal structure to be a ref for the no, NFL no, or any no. professional sport. Maybe there is, but I don't know about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you only did one game. I only did one, and it was for intramurals <laughs> at college. So <laughs> why'd you only do one? Because I was like, this this is hard. <laughs> <laughs> and that's crazy. Doc. College is like one step away from the pros. I know. And I could have. Apparently, a guy who it, did it went, refereed stuff from in the NFL. Really? Yeah. What? Wow. He was he was a few years before me, but mm-hmm. still. It's pretty great. They, I missed opportunity. Wow, did he look at it. you? He was like, you got it, kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. He got scouted by yeah, yeah. the ref league. Yeah. <laughs> kid, right. blow that whistle again. Yeah. <laughs> just carry a... You've never seen a guy blow a whistle like this before. <laughs> Your whistle sings like, yeah. like an old Judd Ruther. This, this guy could see a call for 30 yards out. <laughs> <laughs> I, w- I, would, I would go the Tim Donahue route. Mm. Just getting oh. bezeled, <laughs> rigged, rigged, just corrupt. <laughs> you know? that's, not a bad, that's not a bad career path. Easy, because he's fine now. Yeah, you're you know good. Yeah, yeah. About. Do you guys know about that one ref who's like famous for his biceps? What? 
There's like a, there's like there's a professional referee. Is there a documentary about this? <laughs> 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 yeah, it's on Showtime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's like he's like super famous for like his biceps. Word. Um, not and it's like and <laughs> it's weird because every time he makes calls, he look uh, like this. And yeah. He has like these wings and he flexes. So, and it, it's just sheer muscle. Love it, man. Yeah. For what sport? Yeah. Football. I think it was football. football? Yeah. Well, um, that's the end of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna review who that <laughs> was or show a picture. It's a cliffhanger. It's right. a cliffhanger. Yeah. Um, it's a cliffhanger that's not gonna be addressed. <laughs> yeah. No, we'll do, we'll do it next time. <laughs> oh, we'll do our uh, extraction review. <laughs> yeah. And reveal this referee next time on Papaya Nine. And I'll start my Instagram account. That's right. right. <laughs> we'll get it going. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're watching, uh, we are a, a, a brown and black owned business. So. <laughs> You know, what? you want to support and and Latino and owned. And Latino, uh, so and brown, yeah, right, yeah. yeah. Why did I? Why did I? It's a little. It's a lot why of brown. did I do that? It's why? A lot of no, brown. but do you see what I did? Yeah, it was weird, right? I thought it was cool. Black, brown, and Latino. No, you know what? <laughs> Y'all get your own. You get your own shine. Shade. Yeah, you know what I mean. Get the yeah. own thing. Anyway, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. no. The eye went in me. Was like, was that right? <laughs> Anyway, uh, we appreciate y'all. Please subscribe and comment. As always. We love it. As always. Thanks for coming to the island. Bye bye. Papaya 9, not news with Neil and Jonas. Papaya 9, not news with Neil and Jonas.